The 8 Best ATVs The market for all-terrain vehicles, or ATVs, caters to a wide range of uses, including recreation, transportation, and work. Unlike most side-by-sides and dirt bikes, ATVs can be used for both work and recreation. More than anything else though, ATVs are supposed to be dependable, tiny vehicles that are easy to operate and a ton of fun to ride. If you want to have some fun, keep watching to find out more about 8 of the top all-terrain vehicles on the market. Number 8 is the Kawasaki KFX 450R. As the popularity of sport quads was reaching its zenith in 2008, Kawasaki released the KFX 450R. The engine was modeled after the one found in the KX450F dirt bikes that were undisputed champions at the time of the Supercross circuit. Kawasaki typically produces engines that are undertuned for recreational usage, but aftermarket engine builders have managed to improve performance without sacrificing durability. The KFX 450R may not have made waves in the motocross world, but it was a serious threat in the forest. Its aluminum construction made it easier to hurl through the canopy. In addition to being a rare, pure 450cc sport quad with a reverse gear, its 5-speed transmission was also exceptionally user-friendly. The 32-bit digital fuel injection system was state-of-the-art for its time, automatically responding to changing weather conditions and altitude. Renthal fat bar handlebars, dual rate, fully adjustable shocks, and an electric starter were among the high-end features available. Kawasaki also introduced a Monster Energy Special Edition KFX 450R before abandoning the model after 2014. Number 7 is the Can-Am Outlander 450. The Outlander series from Can-Am is an extremely competent range of ATVs made for bombing down fire roads, wading through muck, or lugging items around the farm. A 38 horsepower single cylinder Rotax engine and a Visco lock auto locking front differential are under the hood of the Outlander 450. If you are in need of a loader, the 450 is capable of towing 1300 pounds, which is more than enough to haul a large quantity of pretty much anything. Can Am's dynamic power steering, a continuously variable gearbox, a sizable digital instrument cluster, and an abundance of optional extras and accessories let you personalize your machine to your heart's delight. The many available configurations of Can Am's Outlander line is another great feature. The Outlander 450 is available in a broad variety of trim levels beyond the standard model, such as the six-wheeled Outlander Max 6x6, the hunting-themed Mossy Oak Edition, and the rider and passenger-focused Outlander Max DPS 450. Outlander 450 base models start at 6,299 MSRP. Number 6 is the Suzuki LT R450. Some believe the Suzuki LT R450 to be one of the best, if not the best, high-performance four-stroke ATVs ever developed especially in the motocross world. Available in the US between 2006 and 2009, around 25,000 of the near race-ready Suzukis were made. The LT R450 underwent over 100 modifications in 2008 that included a horsepower bump. Many believe Doug Gus to be the best ATV racer of all time, and he had a hand in designing the LT R450, which went on to win a slew of ATV motocross championships. It was quick, with fuel injection, and long travel suspension in a width of 49 inches. Although the Suzuki LT R450 was never designed for cross-country racing, GNCC champion Chris Bowrich rode one to six straight titles in the series in 2009. So does this really seem like the best four-stroke ATV? Number five is the Honda TRX 250R. When it comes to high-performance sport quads, the Honda TRX 250R is unquestionably the most influential and renowned model ever. Although production of the 250R lasted just from 1986 to 1989, during that time, it became the industry benchmark against which all other sport quads were measured. Expect to pay north of $10,000 for a like-new secondhand TRX 250R today. That's quite the increase for a piece of equipment that went on sale for less than $3,000 in its early days. You can only imagine the uproar Honda would cause if they brought out the fuel-injected TRX 250R today. When production ceased in 1989, the Honda 250R remained the template that every other sport quad manufacturer would employ as the cornerstone of their own pure sport ATV design. The Honda 250R was pivotal in shaping the 1999 400EX and provided the foundation for the next iconic favorite, the Honda TRX 450R, by providing its frame and suspension design. Number 4 is the Polaris Sportsman 450 HO. The Sportsman from Polaris is a tough, utilitarian ATV that's built for carrying, plowing, and working. The Sportsman is more of a workhorse than a show horse compared to the other ATVs on this list, which feature flared arches, screaming engines, and extended travel suspension. Polaris' Sportsman 450HO boasts a towing capacity of 1,350 pounds, a ground clearance of 11.5, a suspension travel of 9.5 inches, a large cargo area, all-wheel drive, and a wide variety of optional add-ons. A ProStar 499cc single-cylinder four-stroke engine with fuel injection provides the necessary propulsion, capable of producing 33 horsepower. 
The Sportsman comes standard with a dry 5-gallon storage compartment up front, ideal for carrying tools and equipment, and offers many options for additional storage boxes that attach to the machine's rear top rack. The starting manufacturer's suggested retail price of the 450HO is $6,399. Number 3 are KTM ATVs. When KTM released four pure sport quads in 2008, they redefined the term race ready to a whole new level. The KTM 450SX and 505SX were equipped with high-end components, such as WP fully adjustable long travel shocks, Nerf bars, beadlock wheels, MX tires, and a tether kill switch, the latter of which is mandated at the majority of motocross circuits. KTM's 450XC and 525XC are designed for off-road competition, and their fully adjustable Ulin shocks provide for enormous wheel travel. The XC models, unlike the SX variants, feature a reverse gear in addition to the standard 5 speeds, making it easier to escape dense forests. Height was increased over the SX model, and XC-bred Maxxis Razor tires were installed. Unfortunately, KTM couldn't have picked a worse time to launch. Since the Great Recession hit in 2008, sales of high-end race ATVs have slowed significantly. It's frustrating to think of what KTM could have produced instead, like a fuel-injected 300cc two-stroke racer. Still, hope exists. Number 2 is the Yamaha FSZ450R. Powered by a 449cc fuel-injected single-cylinder engine with five titanium valves, the YFZ450R is essentially the smaller brother, at least in terms of engine capacity, of the Raptor 700R. The 450R is an extremely powerful sports ATV that was designed with the same racing pedigree and concentration as the Raptor. Motocross-specific Maxxis tires, an adjustable handlebar, KYB shocks up front with 9.8 inches of travel, and a KYB piggyback rear shock that provides riders with a monstrous 11 inches of wheel travel are just some of the features. The 450R's open cockpit, narrow seat, and minimal bodywork all contribute to making it easy for riders and racers to maintain command of the bike. The 450R also comes in an SE iteration, just like the 700R's SE trim. The 450R SE, like the previous limited edition model, features improved performance thanks to GYTR as well as some cool new visuals. In 2021, the base price of a Yamaha YFC 450R will be $9,299, with the SE model costing $9,699. Number one is the Yamaha Raptor 700R. The Yamaha Raptor is the best-selling sport ATV because it excels in so many ways and provides so much excitement. It features a 686cc fuel-injected single-cylinder engine with four valves and a single overhead cam, and is paired with a five-speed manual gearbox. To reach its amazing 9,000 RPM redline, it also has forged pistons, connecting rods, and a crankshaft. Suspension is crucial for a high-performance ATV like this one. Yamaha equipped the 700R with a YZ-style adjustable piggyback rear shock that offers 10.1 inches of travel, and adjustable piggyback shocks up front that deliver 9.1 inches of wheel travel. Two aluminum piston disc brakes are located up front, with a second set of disc brakes located in the back. Yamaha also offers a limited edition version of the Raptor, the 700R SE. This version has a number of upgraded GYTR performance components, such as a front grip bar, heel protectors, and unique graphics. The Raptor 700R has a beginning MSRP of $8,899, while the Raptor SE has a starting MSRP of $9,499. ATVs are really a multi-purpose vehicle, believe it or not. You can use it for racing, hunting, farming, recreation, military, emergency services, and more. ATVs really just look like four-wheeler motorcycles, so if you want something that's a little more aerodynamic, definitely check out our video about 20 of the most expensive motorcycles that exist. Thanks for watching, until next time.